the 2 million pesos ICTSI Mount Malaraya Championship 2011 took stage at the Mount Lobo and Mount Malipuño course of the Mount Malaraya Golf Course with the promise of a shootout between the talent-laden Thailand contingent and our very own top local gunners in the second leg of the ASEAN Golf Tour. A truly wide-open battle for the $50,000 purse serving as the fifth leg of this year's circuit. As expected, ICTSI, the PGT, and the ASEAN Golf Tour never fail to put together an all-star cast of the country's finest golfers and participants from different neighboring countries as well, from Thailand, Singapore, and even one from the Netherlands. Rain poured down heavily on day one, leaving the golf course washed out, which resulted in a suspension. The ASEAN PGA Tour officials then called for the 90 players competing for the title to complete the round on day two since the conditions of the course were not playable. Joining in the hunt for the title are Jay Byron, Ferdi Ounzo, Artemio Murakami, Tony Lascuña, Mars Pukai, Rufino Bayron, Elmer Salvador, Cassius Casas, Richard Sinfuego, Orlan Sumkad, Junel Ababa, and Mark Fernando. What a challenging start! Stick around and let's see how they shut their way on day two. The suspension of play on the first day left professional and amateur golfers playing 36 holes on the second day to complete the round. Not all 90 golfers were able to finish 36 holes in day 2, so this will need to spill over and resume on day 3. Juvik Pagonsan continued to exhibit good form, firing a 4 under par 68 in rainy weather to seize a share of the first round lead with Miguel Tabuena. Tour rookie Gerson Balasabas, the former Philippine team mainstay, playing his fourth pro event, was tied with three Filipinos, three Thais, and Dutch Guido van der Vok at 70. Antonio Lascuña, an Asian tour regular like Pagonsan, also shot a 70 together with Mars Pukai and Gis Bondo. Meanwhile, Randy Garalde, Ernie Relion, Mark Fernando, Ferdi Ounzo, Antolin Fernando, and Michael Bibat still looking to make an impact all fired a 74. Elmer Salvador, the 2009 winner of the Open, still couldn't do better than a 75, while Jay Byron wound up with a 39 for a total 76. The weather really did contribute to making this day an even more difficult hurdle to pass. This leg of the PGT is possibly the weather-inspired test to the country's best golfers and international contingents. It's time to check out the final day. start on a Saturday morning for our golfers as they teed up to finish a few holes left undone for day two. Finally, the sun showed up, giving the participants a beautiful day to finish this leg. 
Let's see who will take home this title. After all, in golf, it can be anybody's game. Tony Lascuña, Juvik Pagunsan, and Miguel Tabuena completed the championship flight. Pagunsan claimed the ICTSI Eastridge Classic last week on the Philippine Golf Tour. It started as the pre-tournament favorite, while Mars Pukai, Guido Van Der Volk, and Jonel Ababa are up ahead the leaders. Coming in on the back nine, Thailand's Tanya Kon Krongfa was armored after storming a victory in the ICTSI Mount Malaraya Championship. The 21-year-old Thai secured his second victory on the ASEAN PGA Tour after closing with a 5-under par 67 for a 3-shot victory over Juvik Pagunsan. Meanwhile, Juvik Pagunsan, the reigning ASEAN PGA Tour Order of Merit champion, who also finished second year last year, shot a 69. Veteran Antonio Lascuña, joint third-round leader with Tanya Con on 10-under, carded a 71 to finish outright third. Miguel Tabuena finished in sole possession of fourth place with a 71 and ended six strokes behind the winner. The game may be over, but the show isn't. Stay tuned as we bring you more of the ICTSI Mount Malaria Championship with the highlights of the game up next.